All right, guys, so the brand new tow truck update is finally here, introducing the new tow truck, horn customization, map, and waypoints, and much, much more. So let's go ahead and hop into this thing because this is absolutely insane. So first up, we got ourselves a brand new mini map, and how you use it is you just click here on the mini map. You can click it now and then it will bring up a full screen version of the map. But once you got yourself the mini map here, uh, you could basically add waypoints. So how you do that is you just want to click add waypoint and then you could basically click anywhere on the map and it will guide you there. So I'm going to click the middle of the city and as you guys can see, it will put a little arrow in the sky, it'll put some arrows here too, and then it will guide me to the city. Once you're here though, uh, to get rid of it, you just want to drive into it, or you can go ahead and just click on the minimap again and click remove waypoint. It's pretty, pretty cool. And on the minimap here, uh, you can also track all the robberies and see if they are open. And it's also really cool because you could basically stalk the other team. So if you're a police officer, you will see flashing dots of f for each criminal. So if there was a criminal at the volcano base, there would be a flashing like orange dot. So you would be able to stalk that criminal because obviously you could see them. Same with the criminal team. They could stalk every police just by looking at this mini map because all the police dots will be flashing. So it's very, very cool if you're trying to like stalk someone in a private server without them knowing. So it's a very, very cool. You could also see players on your team. So it's, it, it's just very cool overall. You can also set waypoints to places that aren't even in the map, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, to remove a waypoint, you just want to click remove waypoint and then it completely disappears. So in this update, they also added tow trucks and it's actually really, really cool. It's, you can find it here in the mini town for $80,000 and will it spawn? Yes, it spawns right here, $80,000. You can customize it, all that good stuff. And basically with this car, you can tow any vehicle, even if it's a helicopter, even if it has someone inside it. And it's pretty, pretty cool. So you just back up to the car, wait a few seconds. And as you guys can see, I started towing the car. So you will get slowed down a bit because obviously the car will be flying around. I mean, just look at my roadster over there. It's, it's flying into me. And it's actually pretty, pretty cool. You can tow any vehicle in the game, even if it's a helicopter. Uh, it, it, honestly, this vehicle is just for trolls. I mean, like, when will you ever use this other than, like, when you're trying to get rid of a road, road chaos, I guess? Um, I mean, like, there's no other use for this other than getting rid of road chaos or, like, uh, trolling a streamer. So, uh, talking about trolling streamers with this car, uh, don't expect this car to be enabled in streamer servers uh, because, you know, it's really annoying to get your car towed every 30 seconds and you know it's just super annoying especially when it's only eighty thousand dollars and probably lots of people have the car it's it's not gonna be fun so expect this car to be disabled in streamers servers but yeah to get rid of a car just press g it will let go and then you could drive away um, but yeah, this car is pretty cool. The interior looks nice. It's a pretty cool model. Um, it's the second car with actual mirrors on the side, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's actually going quite fast, so it's pretty, pretty good for its price. I will probably be speed testing it one of these days to see how fast it is. But you know, it's pretty, pretty fast. And is it worth the 80000 <laughs> It is. It's so overpowered. It's so cool to use, and it's... It's just so fun. Well, as I just finished recording that clip, they are nerfing the car. Well, that's great. No, but literally it really did need to nerf. I mean, it, it, it's overpowered and it's really annoying. Asimo admits it here. It, it, it's pretty annoying getting your car towed every like 20 seconds. It's absolutely just not cool. Asimo did say he will be keeping this car fun to use though, so. I, I'll, I still recommend buying it because, you know, 
it, you're literally able to tow any vehicle in the game. It's absolutely, it's just, this. it's cool, okay? What do you know, right as I finish recording that clip too, they say that they're gonna make it harder to tow drivers. Okay, uh, um, <laughs> well, well, all right. At least I won't be getting towed every 30 seconds. But they also added horn customization, so you can now customize what horn you can use. So obviously, we got the normal horn here, and it's still in the game. They didn't remove it. It's just been changed a little bit, so it sounds a bit better. Um, but if you go to your garage here, you can actually change your horn. And there's a lot of different ones. There is train, there's rumble siren, there's drop weapons, there's realistic, there's countdown, and then there's clown here. So I'm gonna buy them all. They're quite expensive, you know? Um, you know, they want them to probably be like, you know, unique because obviously changing your horn is quite cool. And how can I buy multiple of these at the same time? I want to, I want to buy all of them at once. Can I just, can I do that? Or do I have to, oh my goodness. All right, so I just bought all of the horns and I'm gonna go ahead and equip realistic and basically whenever you honk your horn now, it will make a realistic horn sound here. So whenever I press H, there we go. It sounds pretty cool. I've raised my volume so you guys can hear it too. Uh, hopefully, if not, that's embarrassing and I'll probably just give you guys the black screen with the horn noise. Um, but honestly, you guys are gonna be able to try it for yourself. So. Um, yeah, I'm probably not gonna do that because, you know, I'm lazy, but whatever. Uh, um, yeah, they're pretty, pretty cool. Uh, you can change it to one of these. Uh, we got Train, Rumble Siren, Drop Weapons, Realistic, Countdown, Clown, Original. And obviously this one is the original horn, so it's pretty cool. And we got a Clown is probably my favorite other than Realistic, but I'm probably gonna stick with the Realistic horn just because, you know, it sounds good. Um, but yeah, it's cool cool stuff but yeah that's horn customization and last up here we got ourselves a brand new code you can come here to an atm and redeem code till it will give you around 10,000 cash right there or yeah redeemed 10,000 cash it's pretty pretty cool go ahead redeem it while you can and you'll get yourself a good ten thousand dollars but yeah that's pretty much this update you can now buy an unbanned pass so if you're banned in jailbreak at the moment you can go ahead and spend 1500 robux to get yourself unbanned get out of that stinky cage and you can play jailbreak again obviously you will be given some restrictions you know because you cheated you're gonna lose a bit of your trust but i mean it's only disabling like any source like it, you won't be able to send cash or give cash or receive cash in any way um, but you, you'll you be able to play jailbreak again. You will be given 100,000 cash and stuff. So you won't be left completely broke. Um, but all your vehicles and stuff will be reset. Other than your rewards redeemed from contracts. So if you did your contracts before you got banned, you will be keeping those rewards. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you've enjoyed it or you found it helpful in some sort of way, please consider leaving a like and subscribe because it really helps me and the channel a lot we've been exploding like crazy recently and we're trying to get to 10,000 subs by the end of this year so every sub will help us get there but yeah hopefully you've all enjoyed and i'll see you guys all in the next video